previous video on my YouTube channel where I took this engine off a SV650 or Suzuki SV650 I dismantled it and I explained how it worked so if you want to take a look at that video you can take a look at the other video on my channel but in this video I want to uh, talk about this engine uh, about how it came into my hands and what is actually wrong with it now I don't own a Suzuki SV650 I never have this engine came off um, another bike owner's motorcycle so he had a, gen a generation 1 uh, SV650 and he uh, took this engine out of the bike and he put it up on local advertisement for sale and I bought it for just a few euro now the reason that he put it up for sale and um, he did admit in the ad that the engine had failed so in this video I want to um, explain to you what actually was the uh, problem with this engine so having taken the full engine apart uh, I was able to discover why it failed and it's actually quite surprising um, now these Suzuki SV650 engines they do have a reputation for good reliability having taken this engine apart I was actually very impressed with the condition of all the parts in the engine or most of the parts there probably was two things that um, caught my attention though the first thing uh, was around here on the other side so underneath I think it's underneath the on the clutch side so this is the clutch cover I think on the on the underneath the clutch cover and um, we have two gears there's two, um, well, two, I suppose, intermediate gears. One of them is connected onto this water pump. It's on the other end. Uh, and then there's, I think there's another gear hidden in at the back of this cover that is actually driving the oil pump. Now, what I did notice was that those two gears are made from plastic. Now, were they the cause of the engine failure? No, they were not the cause of the engine failure. But the two gears are made from plastic. This is actually very common in a lot of um, motorcycle engines. It's just, I suppose, uh, weight for weight, weight reduction that they add these um, plastic gears in instead of using metal gears. Now, I did notice on the oil-driven gear, or the gear that I think drives the oil pump, um, it, it was working and it was in reasonably good condition but I could see uh, that the plastic was had some stress fractures in it so it wasn't going to fail immediately but I would not be very um, confident uh, putting this engine back in a motorcycle with that gear in it that gear I would if I was rebuilding this engine I would replace that gear before I would put it back in the motorcycle. Now apart from that, um, everything else looked perfect. It looked like a brand new engine inside. But, as I mentioned, the buyer did tell me that this engine failed. So surprisingly, the cause of the failure, it's actually quite easy to show, I could take it off, this part here is the starter motor. So, it just connects in to the motorcycle, just in through here, and it connects into an intermediate gear, and it connects up to the starter clutch, basically. I just don't want this to tip over when I'm talking. So this unit here is the cause of the engine failure, if you could even call it that. So how did this starter motor cause engine failure? Well, it was actually something very simple. The um, this little pinion here, okay, which connects it, it connects into the um, intermediate gears that connect to the starter clutch, and it basically, when you supply power to the starter motor, it causes this the end this pinion which is connected to the armature to spin really fast. So when this spins really fast, it's interconnected with the uh, starter clutch, and it basically gets the engine going. Now what has happened here, or what has failed, is that um, one of the teeth <clears throat> on the pinion here has actually broken. 
So there's a big chunk of metal missing off it. I'll just bring it in closer. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me just see. Can you just see it? It's just this one here. So that has actually failed. There's it's not totally obvious, but there is just enough missing there that that's going to either... Um, it's not going to connect properly at a particular point. Now, I would imagine that that was actually still starting the engine. That's what I reckon. I reckon that this was actually still starting the engine. But what it was probably doing was making a lot of noise, and that's probably um, why it came to the attention of the, the owner of this motorcycle okay and why he brought it to a mechanic so he didn't replace it himself it wasn't his decision it was a mechanic's decision so they took this uh, whole engine out and they replaced it with a with a either a brand new engine or a second hand engine but this engine they basically considered it that it was only fit for the scrap heap and i just bought it just for the crack just to make a few videos from it so that's really all that was the problem here now um, this is a little bit strange because the I mean like this starter motor it's held in with two little bolts it just clicks in, connects in basically like that and it's held in with two little bolts so a good mechanic could have diagnosed this problem quite easily and they could have uh, taken off the two bolts they could have taken off the starter motor and they could have replaced it now, if they had replaced that, I don't know how much it would cost, but it would be a fraction of the cost of replacing the whole engine. Now, there probably would be a little shard of metal that would have got into the engine, but that would probably have been picked up by um, the oil filter, and it shouldn't really have done any damage. So this could have easily been replaced, and he could have had kept his engine in the motorcycle this doesn't even have to, it would never have to have been even taken out of the motorcycle it just this just comes off so easily with those two little bolts so that's the only reason that this engine was considered to fail so that's really in my opinion I don't know I think this is a little bit of an error on the mechanics part now that's that's not conclusive and um, this engine did have 60,000 kilometers on it so you know the mechanic could have been weighing up and the owner could have been weighing up whether it was worth replacing they could have replaced this uh, starter motor on this engine with 60,000 kilometers they could have um, got the bike going again it would have been working perfectly and I don't know maybe that guy was looking to keep this motorcycle uh, long term and he probably got some advice from the mechanic that replacing this part was a waste of time and that eventually other parts are going to go and it's you're better off just buying a brand new engine that's what i would imagine was the conversation that they had i personally if this was my motorcycle and i found this problem i would just replace this starter motor now there could have been damage to the gears that this connects into as well um, but they could have removed <coughs> they could have removed this uh, uh, stator, cover, stator cover and they could have checked that gear so the gear is just inside here and they could have checked the condition of that having taken this engine apart that gear is in perfect condition I didn't even find that little shard of metal that came off that starter motor so I would presume that it got picked up in the filter because I didn't see it in the oil so yeah so apart from that uh, starter motor and it's probably a not too uncommon problem with any motorcycle uh, apart from that uh, starter motor and that little um, uh, gear that plastic gear that was connected into the uh, oil pump everything else in this engine looked absolutely perfect I was really surprised at the condition of everything it was just it was super clean this engine now as I said this engine had 60,000 kilometers I I would imagine that this engine would have gone another 60,000 kilometers possibly before you probably even had a problem with even the the uh, the little plastic gear that was connected to the oil pump 
maybe it would have gone after 10,000 kilometers, I'm not 100% sure, but I really would not be surprised if it lasted for a long time. So these engines really are very good. Um, and it's actually quite easy to put it back together after taking it apart. So, hopefully, um, any of you who own an SV650, a Gen 1, uh, hopefully that little uh, <coughs> that little diagnosis might help you with your engine. So, see you later everyone. Thank you for watching.